What up, Crypto Warriors? It's Soldier Crypto back at it again. Today is Sunday, the 28th of February, 2021. February is officially done, folks. Done, done, done. It's in the history books. <laughs> Let's get into it. We have the market cap for the whole crypto space at 1.3 trillion, and Bitcoin's market cap is at 814 billion. Everything is down in the red again. And we're taking quite a dump right now as we speak because before i started this video bitcoin was at 45 uh, k just a couple hours ago and um yeah everything is following suit just as per usual cardano is up eight percent for the week and like i said before cardano is probably going to take a dump before monday tomorrow because of the by the runa rumor sell the news in my last video that i went over uh binance coin is chasing a bit everything everything's in a rent except for them i have no idea what, what's happening with this coin and uh okay bitcoin but yeah everything is in the red let's get into it first stories coming out of decrypt robin hood expects to pay 26.6 million dollars to finra uh, the trading app, trading app faces multiple regulatory probes and expect to pay a hefty fine to settle with regulators. It's not a hefty fine because it's just the cost of doing business. No one is going to jail. No one is coming out of their own pockets to pay a fine. They, The company is paying the fine. And again, it's just the cost of doing business. And this has nothing to do with Wall Street vets. This is from something prior that happened in March of 2020. Let's just get straight to it. In the SEC filing, Robinhood also said it is preparing to pay at least $26.6 million potential settlement with FINRA, not over the GameStop re restrictions, but over trading outages in March 2020 and its options trading policies around approval and display. Last year, someone, a young 20-year-old trader, committed suicide because he thought he owed Robin Hood $750,000 when he actually had a balance of $16,000. So this is the price that they're paying right now was for that situation. Has nothing to do with Wall Street bets. And I'm pretty sure sometime next year will, or later on during this year, we'll find out that they had to pay another $20 million fine, $10, $10 million fine for this whole fiasco with GameStop and AMC and all that stuff and Robert Hood bets. So just the cost of doing business. All right. Next, this is from the Daily Hoddle. Banks, not Bitcoin. Banks, not Bitcoin. Carry the torch for the $2 trillion money laundering industry. This is as of uh, February 5th. This is an old story, but I had to cover, for, cover the story because of the continued narrative about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies being used for illicit activities. It is less than a percent of all illicit activities over the past two years that uh, cryptocurrencies are being used to conduct those illicit activities. And as a matter of fact, that percentage is dwindling because why? Cri criminals don't like to be traced. They're figuring out, hey, why we should we use Bitcoin when it could be traced and it is super transparent on the blockchain. But it is banks that they're the ones that's leading the torch. They're the ones that they are facilitating these illicit activities with drug dealers with sex traffickers and all sorts of other bad and illegal things all right as the narrative goes bitcoin is supposed to make it easy for criminals to conduct illegal transactions but the amount of money laundered through bitcoin is peanuts compared to the multi-trillion dollar network of illegal transactions that pass through traditional banks every year According to a report published by the United Nations, by the United Nations Office and on drug, Drugs and Crime, over a trillion dollars are illicitly funneled through the traditional banking system every 365 days. The cost of dirty money, a Bloomberg report 
by Alan Katz diagrams a complex world of money laundering featuring a web of banks, fines, and prison sentences. And the bankers aren't the ones that are going to jail. It's the criminals. And these are all the banks. Bad actors listed in Bloomberg Report. <laughs> every single big bank, every bank, every single bank on the face of the earth, they are in cahoots with criminals or they are implicit when they are being used for illegal activities. You scroll down and it gives the figures, all right, from the $65 billion Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme, JP Morgan's $205 billion uh, fine, right? They, they only paid $2 billion for a Ponzi scheme that was worth $65 billion, uh, you know, and the drug smuggling, uh, Mexican drug smuggling operation, which laundered $378 eight billion dollars in wire transfers this it, the the numbers are out there so the narrative from the janet yellens and uh who's the ecb the european central bank uh head it's another lady uh they, they call a rat face or something well anyway these people the numbers are out there it's coming from the united nations all right it's coming from their own organizations and saying Banks are the ones that are using or not using, but facilitating illicit activities, money, money laundering, not cryptocurrencies. Banks, the, the institutions that's been around for a couple of centuries now, they're the ones that are, are doing it. They're the ones that are dirty. All right. Most recently, the Wall Street Journal published a report in September 2018, a legend that $9 million in illegal funds had been laundered through Bitcoin over the previous two years. So between 2016 and 2018, $9 million. Okay, all right, fine, we'll, we'll take that tap on the chin. But it's $2 trillion, people, $2 trillion. Are you shitting me? $2 trillion, $2 trillion through the traditional banking system. And you're talking about $9 million? Give me a break, give me a break. They are trying to push that narrative to scare people away from using Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I will say for me personally, being a former Marine, when I first heard about Bitcoin back in 2010, when I was, you know, quote unquote, doing my own research, as soon as I saw that, you know, oh, it was being used for illicit activities and the FBI, they're, they're tracking people um doing crimes online and that it's only a, a payment system for criminals that was it that, that was it that was it that's all i needed to see and then i i backed away from it like all right that, that's it i don't want to touch that i, I don't want to deal with that if i just dug, dug a little bit more right coulda woulda shoulda but that's the point they're scaring people away from using something that will benefit them in the long run next speaking about benefit in the long run coming from daily huddle again 37 trillion dollar in wealth transfer set to boost bitcoin and cryptocurrency says morgan creek creek digitals morgan uh, mark yusko the co-founder of cryptocurrency hedge fund morgan creek digital mark yusko says millennials will forever change the financial landscape after inheriting trillions of do dollars from their parents in a new interview with podcaster and analyst preston pish yusko cites data from Deloitte that shows $37 trillion is set to be passed down to millennials who are avid adapters of digital technologies and currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And this is the quote from Yusko. My generation is going to transfer $37 trillion to the millennials, $37 trillion. And it isn't going to be invested in IBM stock. It isn't going to be invested in the government bonds it isn't going to be invested in even tesla it's going to be invested in DeFi. it's going to be invested in bitcoin it's going to be invested in ethereum we are still at the early stages of this game do not think about the day-to-day -day price fluctuations do not think about the $45,000, $50,000 Bitcoin. You could buy a dollar, a dollar worth of Bitcoin every single day on a cash app. You are still early. We are still early. We are still early in this crypto game.
whence whence <laughs> when that wealth transfer happens when those uh, uh baby boomers who are retiring or are already retired pass on and then pass their wealth in the form of uh inheritance in the form of homes and property on to their children then you will see that big big boom over the next 10 to 20 30 years we're going to see a lot of people become super duper wealthy because they were early in this game yes i know i just said 10 to 30 years and a lot of us just want to be rich and wealthy right now but this is a long this is the long game do not pay attention to the price swings do do not pay attention to the negative news the fud coming out from the likes of this european central bank or even from the federal reserve or the treasury okay they're trying to scare you away this way they could stack all the bitcoin and cryptos for themselves next and last but not least speaking about being scared away this is from coin telegraph whale who sold before 2020 crash cashed out 156 million dollars before this week 20 percent dip so maybe, maybe this whale knows a thing or two about uh trading and maybe he's just a time travel traveler he or she they're just a tra time traveler that knows the dates when things are about to crash or they're manipulating the market bitcoin lost 20 percent in one day uh, partly thanks to the action of a single whale a new research suggests data from on-chain analytics firm sentiment on february 23rd shows that bitcoin usd dipped to 47,400 after bitcoin's second largest transaction of 2021 took place and i'm not going to uh, read this whole thing but i'll just show you right here on the chart so this is before the big dip in 2020 march of 2020 2000 bitcoin exchange import and sell off on black thursday from same address this is the same address right here 2700 bitcoin exchange import and sell off as bitcoin made 58k all-time high on sunday so they are basically timing the top at, and and selling to selling it off and probably buying buying it back at uh lows right so maybe it's the same 2000 bitcoin right if if i'm just you know speculating here this 2000 bitcoin they sold it off they bought it all back and then some and then here we go again they sold off 2700 and the price is dropped they probably buy it buy, buying it all back and stacking even more bitcoin and that's just the way how the game is played do not sell your bitcoin to this one whale or multiple whales out there in the crypto space do not try to outsmart the market dollar cost average you know what it's not financial advice do what the hell you want but i know what i'm doing <laughs> all right but let's discuss it in this comment section below what do you think about this crypto whale do you think that one whale or a couple of whales can manipulate the market enough to where they take advantage of it and this 37 trillion dollars wealth transfer do you think it's a, a real thing uh banks they're criminals let's discuss it in the comment section below and last but not least robin hood paying a fine cost of doing business this is sergeant crypto thanks for watching smash that like hit that subscribe button the notification bell to get notified when i upload no videos and i'm out peace